Hello, every, whoops, yeah, there it goes. Hello, everybody. Sorry, I didn't post the last couple of days. Uh, unfortunately, our basement take, took on some water, and so I'm no longer in the basement. So we've had to move things upstairs. So pretty soon you're going to be in every room of my house. What has for, this week we're going to do animal books, and maybe I'll even try to do two today since I missed Monday and Tuesday. Um, what has animal fur? Now, Let's look at this. If you see, you see there's a yellow label. What does that mean? I'm hoping you're yelling nonfiction, Mrs. Nielsen. We know that nonfiction means not fake, which is a real book. It's just going to have information for us. Aren't we excited? So we have our front cover, back cover, spine. I take my finger and I underline the title. I take my same finger and I circle the author. Now look everybody, this is a Bernie's Books. Hopefully you got an, uh, uh, a message from Mr. Um, Redman or Mr. Acosta that Bernie's Books brought us more books. Wasn't that nice of them? So hopefully you were able to pick up more books. Um, let's go on. Let's see. We have our barcode. Ooh, that's what Mrs. Nielsen uses, right? And I scan that. And then this is also our call label. So this is our call number. So we see that it's a 2.5. So um, if you're reading like second grade, fifth month, 2.5, that's good. And then this number is 573. Can you see that? 573? That has to do with that Dewey Decimal, those charts that are above Mrs. Nielsen's board. And SAL stands for... Salzman, because this author is named Mary Elizabeth Salzman. Are we ready to begin? Okay, let's go. What has fur? I'm going to have to figure all this out. <laughs> I had it so good downstairs. Uh, fur is the body on many creatures. All creatures that have fur are mammals. Gorillas have fur. Isn't he beautiful? I believe that's what you call a silverback. Gorillas have black or brownish gray fur. Older males are called silverbacks because the fur on their backs turns gray when they are about 12 years old. Could you imagine? That must mean I'm, I'm at least 12 years old. There's my hair, gray hair too, right? Lions have fur. Lions have short brown, golden brown fur with a tuft of hair at the end of the tail. Male lions have a ruff of longer fur around the head and neck. It is called a mane. So there we go. They call that the ruff of longer hair, right? The mane. And look at, you can even see the tuft, tuft on this tail. Bison have fur. Ready? In the winter, bison grow long, thick fur to help them stay warm. In the spring, the long hair falls off the back half of their bodies. What? So in the winter time, they grow this very thick, long hair. And in the spring, it all goes away. Why do you think they lose their hair? What happens with the weather in the spring and the summer? It begins to get what? Warm. I hope you said warm. This weekend's supposed to be very warm, so they don't want all that heavy fur on them all, all, all um, summer long. Oh, and there, there's some of our favorite little people, aren't they? We call I call them people in my house, uh, but they're animals. Dogs have fur. Different dog breeds have different colors and patterns of fur. Dog fur can be long, short, straight, curly, smooth or wiry. Isn't that fun? All different kinds, right? You actually, if you brush your dog, you have to, there's different brushes that you can get. I bet you didn't know this one. Ready? Bats have fur. Bats spend a lot of time grooming themselves. They look, lick their fur to keep it clean. Baby bats cling to their mothers 
or to the roost until they are old enough to fly. And you know how they cling to their the roost? They're upside down, right? Just like in Stella Luna. That's a good book. We can read that book sometime. It's a very long book, Stella Luna. Ooh, polar bears. Now this is going to be fun. Ready? Polar bears. Polar bear fur looks white, but it actually isn't. Their hairs are clear and hollow. The hairs reflect light, which makes the polar bears appear white. So they're not really white. That's the, the light that you see reflecting off of them. This is interesting too. Ready? Sea lions have fur. Sea lions have short, thick fur. They range in color from tan to dark brown, but they often look black when they are wet. Oh, so don't they look like they don't have any fur, right? But they actually do. Oh, I know this one. Kangaroos have fur. Kangaroos are born tiny and hairless. A baby kangaroo lives in its mother's pouch for four months. It leaves the pouch after it grows fur and can hop around on its own. Why do you think it stays in the mother's pouch when it doesn't have fur? Because it can't keep warm, right? And then when it can grow, it, when it grows its fur, then it can come out and hop around. Kangaroos are called marsupials, just so you know. And sheep, did you know that that's considered fur? Sheep fur is called wool. Most sheep have white wool, but there are black, gray, and brown sheep too. Do you ever have a wool sweater? They're good and they're warm. Sometimes they can be itchy. Uh-oh. What would you do if you had fur? Hmm. What would your fur look like? Here are some more animals that have fur, right? A mouse, a raccoon, a rabbit, a mongoose. Have you ever heard of a mongoose and a fox? So what would you do if you had fur? And here is one of our nonfiction features, right? This is a glossary. And so it talks all about some of the words that you might come across. So wiry, remember when we talked about the dogs and we said that their fur could be long or short and curly, or it could be wiry was one of the things. It says being strong and flexible like a wire is. Isn't that interesting? So that is our... What has fur? I want you to go around today and think about every, see if you, what things you can have, find fur, what things, what animals you know of have fur in your house. I can think I've got, I've got some that have fur. Um, so everybody have a good day and I'll see you later alligators after a while crocodile. Whoops. Bye.